Good morning, everyone. We're getting ready to start our day. We're sitting here at the uh, Loves in Sydney, Sydney, Nebraska. We're about 40 minutes away from our drop and hook. Uh, we're going to kick this wagon off and then grab another uh, another wagon full of empty drums going back to the Twin Cities. So, uh, easy, mar easy, easy part of the morning. Looks like we're going to have some wind today again. Uh, the w crosswinds yesterday was just crazy across Interstate 80. Wow. Coming out of the south, which is weird at this time of year, but... Uh, I would have thought the seasons would have been changing going the other direction, but temperatures are supposed to drop today, so we'll see. But it is 6.06 .06 in the morning, 49 degrees, the truck is reading. Uh, we're going to get this day started. Welcome to the channel. Love you guys. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I don't know what I don't know, so I'm just kind of fumbling my way through all of this. Uh, so, always appreciate the comments down below. Interact, thumbs up, thumbs down, whether you like the video, dislike the video, let me know. So, but we're going to get this day started, guys. We currently have... I'd uh, say we get there just before 6 a.m. local time. They don't open until 6, so don't want to throw away too much time. Not that big of a hurry for a drop and swap. So, all right, guys. God bless. Love you guys. And we'll just catch you on the next video. We're going gonna to hopefully tie these things together and try to get a conversation going. All right? On that, see ya. Well, we are dropped and swapped. It's not a play with the high winds. Well, let's cut across the prairies, y'all. We have a load of empty metal drums. Probably can't weigh more than five thousand pounds. I know that go good with a crosswind. So as I'm already feeling some of the effects of it right now.
back in a minute.
trucks are even 45 degrees, but with the wind, I'm sure it's bringing it down some, so. Pop right in here. Looks just as good as any. done fueling. I would have brought you out there, but man, that wind is horrible. But I'll walk in with you guys. I gotta go get my receipt, top off my coffees. We'll see what we see in there. And you'll hear the wind, so I pre-apologize for the wind. get coffee. This is the loves in Aurora, Nebraska. The winds are bad. They're probably happy put you on hold. They probably won't like that taping going in. Catch you on the outside. Well, we are out of there. We survived. Alright. So, took on 150 gallons. I'm not even getting seven miles to the gallon. This wind is incredible. Insane. Alright. Alright guys. In this crud, the guys are dumping their fuel So catch you out we get out of here. Well, let's see if we can get out of here. We accomplished our half hour break after we got done taking fuel in. Going in and getting some coffee. Got a little over five more hours to go yet for the day. Our course is, we're shooting for uh, Clear Lake, Iowa on 35, or somewhere up there in that area anyway. It's if the wind doesn't, uh, so let Mercer get in there and let's get out of it.
what's everybody's plans for Thanksgiving tomorrow? Today is Wednesday. I'll still be working part of the morning anyway. I'm just kind of curious what everybody's plans are for the weekend. Leave a comment down below. I'm not exactly sure what my wife has got planned, but I'm sure we'll have a nice meal out of it. helps me uh, not keep my girly figure. I've been blessed with a great cook. Amen to that. So, just a quick pop in. Just wanted to find out what everybody's plans for Thanksgiving. And while I'm on that, let me say right now, I wish everybody on the channel happy thanksgiving god's blessings upon you and your families and i love each and every one of you guys really do appreciate everybody that's my first thanks for tomorrow and for that matter every day after I really do thank you guys for following along and hopefully next week I'll have more things to look at considering I'll be going through North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Washington, Oregon, back to Washington, and then on back. So it's a round trip. I roll out of where my company's based out of out of Afton, Minnesota, and we I run a roll run, run a route out to Vancouver, Washington, and then I go up to Seattle, Washington, and then come on back to uh, Roseville, Minnesota, complete the run. And head back to the yard and call it call it a week. It's about a six day round trip, a little over 3,600 miles. So it's all good. I 
still on task for uh, Clear, Clear Lake, Iowa. Clear Lake, Iowa is the Clear Lake, Iowa for the older folks that know Buddy Holly and Big Bopper and all of that. That is the Clear Lake, Iowa that uh, the plane crashed roughly a few miles north of where I'll be parked for the night if everything goes according to plan. So that is the same Clear Lake, Iowa for those that may or may not know that. So, all right. Accomplished our task. Truck's reading 36 degrees there. It's 2012 Central Standard Time. We got 728 miles in on the day, not too shabby. This is a quick star in Clear Lake, Iowa. We're rolling the cords up. We're calling it good. We are done. It is the day before Thanksgiving. And I really hope everybody has a wonderful day tomorrow. I know I will get home in the morning. I won't have all day at home, but I'll get a good portion of it, so I can't, uh, can't complain. I also want to thank you guys for subscribing, liking, and following the channel. Um, I'm a little tired today, so I really don't have much to talk about today. I'm still learning how to, uh, not so much open up and talk, but just kind of talk though. Um, so, I'm a work in progress and so is the channel and I just want to thank you guys. Well, we're going to roll the cords up everybody. God bless. I love you guys. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you very, very much. From my family to yours, thank you. And God bless.